Hey, welcome back to the Milton Price Report. My name is Chuck Charlton. It's the January 2014 edition, so Happy New Year. And I'm coming to you from the Charlton Advantage team office on Bronte Street South, and we're in the Green Life building, the one with the big solar panels. And uh, so our team is three licensed agents plus a full-time admin. And so really the way I like to explain it is our team philosophy is that different than the traditional real estate agent, which I see as being like a taxi cab where they kind of take you the way they want to go and then they drop you off and you never see them again. Uh, you know, and really just feeling like you're being taken for a ride. I think what we try and do in our team is much more of a limousine experience where it's a lifetime relationship. It's something where you're so happy when you get out of the limo that you want to tell other people about the experience. And so um, really we've proven over and over that we do actually get more money for homes it doesn't mean that we charge the least but we charge a fair price and we get the job done really really well for people and what they walk away in their pocket with is as much as possible so that's uh, a bit about our team I'll tell you a bit more about what you can do if you're interested in in maybe getting some more information so the word of caution your home is different than the general market stats and so it's important to, to understand that even uh, homes that are a 550 home versus a six hundred thousand dollar home could be uh encountering completely different markets even though they're actually not that far apart uh different previous sales different competition so everything changes the market is constantly in flux and so it's important to look at the time when you need help is going to be when we can really give specific advice for you so if you look at the trends here the interesting thing is so this blue line is 2013 this pink line is 2012 and so what we saw was that the difference between these two which is actually a function of the average price going up was much stronger in in the last half of 2013 and then if you if you look at the the start of 2013 we were matched a lot closer with the numbers meaning the prices weren't really up year to year or year over year i should say uh, but the the opposite happened in 2012 so in 2012 versus 2011 this line here there was a huge jump in the spring and so there was a little less in the fall and winter so overall if you compare the 2013 numbers to the 2011 numbers the curve and the way the graph moves is remarkably similar so very stable market and if even 2011 to 2013 you can look each one of these represents an average price increase of ten thousand dollars so one two three four five six seven seventy thousand dollars average price has gone up so we're dealing now with the average price in milton being over five hundred thousand dollars and i remember the days back in 2006 when the average price was like 330 so when was the best time to buy a home what well, was yesterday but the the next best time i suppose is today and uh so what's ahead for 2014 hard to say but we're entering the year very stable like i said uh the november stats were extremely stable funny because the stats have almost flip-flopped for townhouses versus uh or towns and semis versus detached so 67 percent of the townhomes that came out sold traditionally we're seeing 100 percent 86 94 94 and even the days on market was up a little bit percent of list was nice and strong at 99 semi-detached kind of the same thing here 63 percent versus 100 more than 100 percent in july which means that there was actually back catalog stuff that was getting sold in addition to all the listings that came out at least as a ratio and then look what happened in the detached homes so we had 42 come out and then 42 sales overall in the market so 100 percent even ratio uh which is very strong it's by far the strongest month for detached and we talked about a story last month where there was seven offers on a bungalow that sold for almost 40,000 more so the scarcity of supply can sometimes mean really good numbers and I think that's what happened with a lot of the detached homes there were homes in certain ranges where people were waiting for them they came out and all of a sudden there was a bit of a feeding frenzy condo towns condo apartments very steady 100% 100% there and so the days on the market is always higher for the condo apartments uh, generally because there's there's a few more out there condo townhouses there wasn't as many so we saw the uh, the days drop down a little bit there compared to 28 38 and 30 so 
Overall, Milton, Milton market in December was actually very, very hot. And I, I figured that would happen when we got the stats in. 120% of sales to new listings, meaning that there were more sales, there were 15 more sales than the total number of new listings that came out, which means that a lot of the back inventory from October and November was being swallowed up. Year to date, just as a comparison, about two in three homes were actually, about 65% of the homes that listed ended up selling. So a lot of people think that number's higher, but it's not. So. So you have a uh, basically like a two in three shot of selling. So a little bit over 50%, a lot less than 100. Average days in the market was 23. It was a little bit higher, obviously, in December. So there were some people that did very well in that month. And I think it's going to be the same in January. It seems like so far, and we're about two weeks into January as when I'm doing this video, is that there's just not a lot of listings coming out. And so it happens whenever it happens. Sometimes it happens. July or, or January 7th sometimes it happens the 21st where things just start moving and uh, it just seems like we're off to a bit of a late start but that doesn't mean anything at all uh, people just have to kind of snap out of the season we obviously had some pretty crazy weather in the month of January and I'm sure that's part of it too so what I'm scrolling past is uh, just some of the things that people have mentioned about working with us and I ho hope you take the time to read this and uh, and just see what it's like to work with our team now you can obviously go on the site if you're watching this video you scroll down below you can get all of the available listings for that have uh, are actually not available you can get all of the sold listings that have happened in the last 60 to 90 days individual links for types of property are just down below you can download the PDF and do a lot more. So the three things you can do next quickly. Number one is you can ask us to, to come over and give you a pinpoint price analysis, a very specific researched point of view on what your home may be worth. And we even guarantee in writing to sell your home for that price in 60 days or less because Unlike the taxi cab driver, we want to be accountable to that price. And if it doesn't happen, there's a penalty to us. We want to have some skin in the game so that you know we're on the same team as you. Second thing, room by room review, we'll come over and tell you the things you should and shouldn't do. We'll give you a perspective even on if you spent this, this is how much you'd expect to get back. So for the return on investment angle, we're very, very strong in that. And so that'll give you a list of things that you really must do or could do or shouldn't do. And it'll help keep you very organized. And the last thing is the silent market of homes. We've been doing a lot more of this where we're matching people off the MLS, okay? So we, we know of stuff that's coming out that's not listed yet. And so we like to share that as much as possible with people. And then if you've got a home to sell, we might be able to have the buyer for you before it's even listed. Right now I can think, especially in the older Milton, Anderson, Gowland, uh, those kind of streets, Moorlands, we've got a client who loves Moorlands that they're just waiting for the right house to come out. And I've already reached out to a couple people and I've got some, some, uh, I guess what you call it, some stakes in the fire, whatever you say, uh, that, that might work out for them. But we love making matches off the MLS. I've always taken the belief is, what if the MLS is the last place you looked if you had a buyer, what would you do? And so the same thing with a seller is that there, there's opportunity, there's, there's buyers right now that are just starting their search and they, they haven't made offers, they're not even working with anybody, but they're, they're attracted in through things like our daily homes. And uh, it's, it's a great opportunity. So if you're thinking about selling your home and you wanna take us up on any of these offers to maybe get some early uh, showcasing to some buyers that might be interested, or for us to come and have a look at the home and talk about values, just let us know which one you want and we're there for you. So have a great day and a great month. We'll see you in about 30 days with another Milton Price Report. Okay, take care.